Hello and welcome to our corner of the internet. My name is Mario Ghost, and today we are reviewing the DOS Ophenomir Gun Deck Wallet. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into the materials of this thing. So this is gonna be made from a uh, full grain leather and it comes from a tannery in Italy and it's called the Concieria Wapie. I know I'm probably butchering that, but pretty much uh, full grain leather is the best leather that you can get. It's going to give you relative moisture resistance as resistant as, you know, a leather wallet can get. And it's gonna be very durable as well. It's gonna patina super nicely. Uh, this was actually a much lighter color, but it's just developed such a nice patina. And this is more of what the color looked like when I first got it. And then it's a little, it's a little darker as you can see. And then another thing that I like about it is not only the color kind of develops a patina, but it wears in super nicely. So you can actually kind of see where my cards and where the interior flap kind of molds to the shape of the, um, or the top flap molds to the shape of the interior flaps. And I really like that. I really like how it's just super nice and everything kind of burnishes and it just, it just gets better with age as leather normally does. Another thing to mention about full grain leather is it's going to be right below the hair of an animal. So that's what makes it classify as full grain leather. Now, this has to be the most unique wallet I've ever seen or laid my hands on because it's actually made from one single piece of leather. And the only stitching that there is in this whole entire wallet is right here. That's the only stitching. So everything is just made out of folds, which is super cool and it makes it really unique and it stands out from a lot of other wallets. So I went ahead and removed all my cards, but this is what it looks like when it's flat. And there is going to be an interior flap where you can store a lot of your cash or your cards or anything like that. And then this is going to be like a quick access slot. So you can just fit like a cards that you normally use. I wouldn't use this as a slot because it's going to be exposed while if you use this it's going to be kind of tucked in but it kind of just naturally gives you organization which is super cool and then another thing is even the interior i don't know if you can see but it's kind of developed like a little bit of a shine i don't think it's showing on camera but just everything about this wallet just gets better with time this wallet actually has a pretty good capacity. I'm going to go ahead and fit some cards into here and we'll go ahead and see how many you can fit or how many I carry at least. So we've got one, these are my personal cards so I'm not gonna show them, but we got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So this is just gonna be going into the top flap but we got six cards all in the top flap and boom there's still a lot more room i'd probably fit like maybe two or three more cards um at that point it might start to get a little bit full but yeah it carries a lot of cards and you can also carry cash of course so you just have to fold it up but it carries cash very well. I've used it to carry cash before. Another really nice thing about this wallet is it has a very tactile feel. And when I when I say that, it's just it, it, the leather kind of rubs together in a really nice way. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that can be a good thing and a bad thing because sometimes they'll sit down and the leather will kind of squeak together, which may sound like something else. Um, but it, it kind of also has like a very nice feel. And you know, that's probably subjective, but I really like the way the, the uh, leather kind of rubs together and makes that nice sort of squeaky sound. Um, it's, not, it's, it's not quite squeaky, but it's, it's sort of like that. But one of the things I like the most about this wallet is not necessarily, don't get me wrong, it's a fantastic wallet. But what makes it even better is just the person who makes it. So I hope I'm not pronouncing the name wrong, but this is actually made by Michael Bluth or Michael Bluff, 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 I, I hope. <laughs> I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. 
but he's actually um, in the Navy and he's an active duty soldier in the Navy, which I think is super cool. And if I can support veterans in any way, like, first of all, you get a fantastic product, but also you get to support, you know, active duty military, which is a win-win, you know? I wish I could find some more information on Michael, but I could only go by what's on his about page on his website which I'll, pro I'll link down below with this actually with the wallet that I have right here. Um, but I just, I'm so impressed with the quality of this wallet and the uniqueness. Like it's just such a, uh, a statement in design. It's just so nice. And I can't, it, it just works so well. It works so well together. The only problem that I have, and I don't even know if it's that much of a problem, it's just something that I didn't expect, is that the wallet, this left, or it depends on how you look at it, but this corner right here kind of bends a little bit and it curves a little bit. So it's, I don't know, it's just something to think about. Um, of course, it hasn't impacted the way that I use the wallet. Um, it's just something that I didn't expect. I, I expected it to be more straight like this not quite like that um so just keep that in mind i don't know if that would bother you or not while i'm while i'm noticing it let's go ahead and talk about the logo so i really like the 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 logo choice here it's it's minimal but it also derives some inspiration from his i, I guess sailor roots i think what it is is it's like a uh, an oar for like rowing a boat and then a saber like something that like a pirate would use or something it just kind of has like a nautical vibe to it and I really like the logo I cannot complain about it at all honestly I would like this wallet a lot less without the logo I think it kind of ties the whole thing together and gives it character and speaking of character the patina that this thing develops is just beautiful when I first got this wallet, it was very stiff, and I, I, I knew that. Um, I knew that when I got it, it would be it would be super stiff, and I would have to break it down. But oh my gosh, once you break it in, it just develops so much character, and it just becomes such a beautiful piece of art. I would go as far as to call this art because the design is just crazy, and I think that's that's the most noteworthy piece about this and this isn't his only wallet he makes other wallets um i think you have like this one is the gun deck you also have like the dos of venomir top sider which is also really good but it's just it's a beautiful wallet another thing is it looks like he might have burnished the edges which kind of gives it a smooth look and feel and I really appreciate that. Um, just taking the time to really complete and tile together the whole piece by burnishing all of the edges makes it look really nice. Another thing to note is the stitching. It, the stitching is kind of crossed and it looks really nice in my opinion too. Um, again, that's subjective, but when you do purchase this wallet, you can actually choose the color leather that you want. So like the stain on the leather, and then you can also choose the thread that he uses. So again, Overall, the Dasso Fenimir Gun Deck Wallet, fantastic wallet that gets better with age, super unique with just being one piece of leather that is sewn together with one piece of thread. Um, and you get a fantastic wallet for a decent price at, let me check, this wallet comes in at about $60, so very affordable, especially for something that's going to last you a long time. I've had this for maybe four, no, six months. I think I've had this for six months, if not longer. But as I was saying, you get a fantastic product, uh, honestly, a piece of art. Um, and then you also get to support active duty military. Um, like I said, Michael is in the uh, Navy. He's a sailor in the Navy, which is super cool. You get to support him. And then you also just get a fantastic product. And honestly, I cannot recommend this more. Um, so yeah. So that's my review of the Das Ophenemir Gun Deck Wallet. Fantastic wallet for the price. Um, not even for the price, just standalone. Fantastic wallet. Honestly, I'm surprised that it's so cheap, like price-wise, I mean. Um, but if you like the video, why not consider subscribing? I make videos on tech, 
productivity and lifestyle or I plan to. I know that this is a new channel, so I don't have too many videos up right now, but I'm working on it. Um, while you're there, you can also hit the bell to be notified of new videos. If you fancy reading, I also write articles on Medium. You can follow me there. The link will be in the description. And I'm also on Twitter. That link will also be on the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.